Hello everyone, this is CY once again. Thanks for joining me. I haven't been making much videos uh, recently because I'm down with the flu and the flu has already affected me um, even though I've recovered fully but then uh, not fully. As per se, I'm still coughing uh, especially when I drink cold stuff. So for now, I'm staying away from cold drinks but uh, today I'm going to show you um, a setup which is ideal for any pop-up store or even a very um, so-called uh, it can it can it can do it can be done in a very cafe a busy cafe right so let me show you the equipment that I'm going to show right, you. So today. what's so special about these three equipments? Of course, this is the uh, Ascaso Baby T Plus. It is as good as the La Mazzocco Lander Mini, right? On the same um, quality in terms of build quality, in terms of the uh, the power, the consistency, the dual boiler rotary palm. Uh, machine, uh, volumetrics, um, able to push out coffee after coffee, has got a, a saturated group inside there and then uh, a very powerful steam wand uh, which is actually engaged at the lever system here, has got the hot water here as well, has is able to uh, be tank, uh, to plumb in and to plumb out, it, it can also use the inbuilt tank, right? And this is no strangers to people who has been uh, following my channel, right? But this machine here is pretty new, Right, these special grinders is from uh, this company, uh, one of my good friends' company. Right, it's called the Wen Dou Ji. Right, Wen Dou Ji. They are from uh, China, and what is so special about this grinder is it does its own calibration, it does its own alignment. Right, so um, it is also a weight dosing grinder, and if you put different weight portafilter, you can actually identify it and then dose accordingly. So, for example. If you put, if you set uh, a particular uh, portal filter, right, and to dose at 20 gram, you can actually have another portal filter who, which weighs, which weigh, uh, 18, uh, which I'm going to contain 18 gram baskets. Right, so I can actually use different portal filter to dose differently, and I don't have to worry. And of course, and another special feature about this grinder is that. Let's say you are adjusting the grind setting, it will auto purge the coffee so that uh, it will get rid of all the grind from the previous grind size and it's ready to grind for the next batch. So I'm going to show you the workflow in a simple way, how I make coffee. I will first put an espresso, then uh, after that I'll make a milk based coffee uh, on the Fiorenzato, uh, sorry not the Fiorenzato, on the Ascaso BBT Plus and of course I'm going to use this uh, um, auto temper which uh, just facilitate the workflow. Show you. Let's say for example I want to adjust the grind setting. I just set a long long hole and then you go into the setting, go into the thickness. Thickness is actually, is actually the grind setting for them. Let's say I want to increase uh, uh, the, the grind setting to 0140. These this numbers correspond to a certain uh, coarseness or fineness of the coffee. And once you're done, just press long hole and then you will, uh, you will store it. Press long hold again, you'll go back to the premium standard. So you can see the moment I change the grind setting, it will actually purge out the coffee automatically and get ready for the next brew. And uh, let's try to see whether you can get it down in. Right, so let me first pull the first espresso. So get my polar filter out, right? Put my polar filter there, it auto detect the polar filter and it grind automatically. You can see how fluffy the ground is. Okay, the first patch is exceeded my um, weight by 0.6 gram and it will do auto calibration and the next patch will, will get more and more accurate so now i just push into my auto temper right and it's tamped nicely and after that put on my pass screen right and we are ready to brew espresso so i'm uh, i think i'm out of espresso shot glass i'm just going to use a transparent glass right you will work glass here which is slightly oversized but never mind and the Ascaso BBD Plus is a volumetric machine, so it will actually um, espresso looks pretty good, right? It's a little bit uh, over extracted, flowing a little bit slow. Uh, but the flow is getting on, right? You can see the short timer is around twenty plus second. I should have put a weighing scale at the bottom to measure the output, but never mind. I'll probably do it the next time. Right, uh, now it's over about 30 plus seconds. Right, so for 35 seconds, still within the time frame that we're looking for. So, looking at the espresso, right, it's pretty good quality espresso there. Right, 
right? So that is the espresso, right? Um, but let's first try uh, the taste of the espresso. The blend for today is actually our harmonic elegance. So let me taste the espresso. Right. So let me give it a taste. Well, this is a very balanced blend. It has a little bit of sweetness at the back, uh, but very chocolatey and nutty. The medium roasted coffee, by the way. Oh, the sweetness pop is now popping. Wow. Wow, the sweetness now is popping. So um, besides the chocolate nutty base, it is really sweet, right? Uh, this blend of coffee, we use the uh, mandolin from Sumatra and then another coffee from Brazil, right? So these are a, a, a blend from two different origins that we have created. Okay, now uh, let me pull another shot using the same setting. I'm going to adjust it slightly coarser and then pull a second shot of espresso. Then we're going to do a milk based drink, right? So let's do that. So let me show you. I'm going to adjust the grind setting to be slightly coarser now. Press and hold. Right, thickness means coarseness. Go to the middle. I'm going to increase it by one point by point zero one. Press hold to memorize it. Press hold again. Immediately when I release it, it will purge the coffee. So this is coffee from the previous grind setting, and it will purge out. And now it's ready for me to pull shots, right? So let me get rid of the coffee from the previous batch by knocking the puck out. And then you can see I did not do any WDT, RDT, or whatsoever. With this grinder, you don't need all these things, right? Okay, so let me rinse it under the tap. Okay, the moment I put my powder filter on, the grinder will automatically detect the weight of the... Oh, sorry, not the grinder. The moment I put my powder filter on, it will detect the weight of my powder filter and it will grind immediately for 20 grams. Right, you can see how fluffy the ground is. Okay, now it is slightly lesser. Just now it was 20.6, now it's 19.6, but it's actually 0.4 gram uh, short, which is actually 0.2 gram more accurate as compared to the previous one. So it will do auto calibration to to get closer to what I've set, which is actually 20 gram dose. Do a gentle tap. Let's uh, use a puck. Auto tamper to tamp it nicely. Put my pass screen on. Oops. Okay, let's put my pass screen on. And then we are ready to pull a second shot. Okay, let me get rid of this. Okay, let's do it in a regular latte cup, which is a slightly smaller size one. Right, I think uh, I love the Tiffany blue color. Right, this time I'm going to put a scale underneath. Right, so that we can see the extractions. Okay, I'm going to get it closer to see the extractions of the coffee. There's a pre infusion. Now the full pressure kicks in. Look at the flow, man. That's pretty good flow. Very easy to dial in grinder. Timing is great. Weight, we are aiming 1 is to 2 ratio. So we are hitting about 28 seconds and we are getting about 44 grams of coffee. I will call that decent. Right, so now let's get ready the milk and do some milk frothing. And then we can try to do a little bit of latte art, right? Uh, let me see whether I have a good milk pitcher here. Okay, like we shall use a larger one. Actually, this is too large for me. Okay, just... Okay, never mind, let's just do it. Okay, so the Ascaso BBT Plus has a very powerful steam. Let's do a perch. And personally, I like the, the way that the wand is actually positioned. Let's do a perch. 
right? And then uh, let's try to do a simple latte art if we can, right? The crema is really very thick, right? So maybe let me lower down my camera and see whether we can get something going. Oops, it's been a little bit too hard. Okay, let's try that. Okay, I think it's a little bit too thick. So not the best latte art. But uh, it's definitely a very easy to do um, combinations of grinders, espresso machines, and a temper. So what do you think about this? Let me know in the comment section down below. Right, uh, what do you think about these combinations of espresso machine grinders and tempers, right? Personally, I think this is a great combination. Of course, I'll be doing featuring more about this machine in the future, right? This is a dual boiler gear pump pressure profiling machine that is way uh, more advanced as compared to the um, BBM Dome Bar Super, right? Because this one you can do pressure profile on the go, you can save, you can replay, right? So this is the beast, right? So thanks for joining. Thanks this for joining. is I will Friday. see you very soon in the next video. Once I recover fully, I'll definitely do more content, right? So stay tuned. Thanks for joining. Stay safe. I'll see you in the next video.